Don't worry about the Knicks, because it's your boy, Chris, with the Knicks. And, um, this is my, this is America, uh, Childish Gambino, uh, not a reaction, but a review. And I know a lot of y'all going to be like, oh, well, you late to the party. I did it on purpose because I already know a lot of people. I already know it was going to go big. I already know. I've seen the original um, Saturday Night Live performance, and then and then I seen the video after, and then they just re-aired the uh, they just re-aired the the rerun the the retaping. So you know, I just wanted to wait wait because I know a lot of people are gonna be like, oh well, now it's old, and I feel like great art and great pieces never get old in this generation you always gotta be a step ahead so you know I'm a step ahead so uh, my whole take on it well the song itself is great it's a feel good song you know black man get your money because in this generation you know or um, in this world even still today you know uh, uh being a black man, you know, is you against the world, and you ain't got nothing to lose, and, um, you know, when Tupac said that, I was a kid in the 90s, so, of course, you know, I didn't really get the meaning of it, but when you get older, stuff get real, stuff get real, so, uh, uh, the, the video itself, uh, the, the whole intro for, uh, started off as the, uh, the, that Jim Crow pose, I, I caught that all automatically because you know I study a lot of black history so I caught that um, I caught that real quick you know and I think the, the beginning is you know this um, I think Trayvon Martin's father if I'm not mistaken was just playing his guitar sitting in a chair playing some peaceful music and here you got this Jim Crow um, for those who do not know Jim Crow uh, basically is a coon uh, it basically is a coon. Go search Jim Crow up. You know, do your homework. You know, I don't want to make this video too long because I know we live in a short attention span, but uh, generation. But uh, yeah, Jim Crow, the, the Jim Crow pose. So you're this black man. He's sitting in a chair and you have this coon behind him shooting him. So then they drag off the body and then they keep they, the gun gets held. The body gets dragged, but the gun is held with with care. And if, if I'm not mistaken, if you die, like, like even if you like, like if you if you get killed, there's um, that you get a body bag, or they have a, or if you get killed overseas or something, you get, you get put in a box that says human remains handled with extreme care. But this man got dragged off and a gun got handled with extreme care. But we always talk about gun control. So then, you know, he's doing his dance and he does a pose like this. That was a um, Richard Pryor pose. I caught that. He's doing all his dancing and all this stuff is going on around him. And then the kids follow. The kids follow suit and then, you know, uh, when he, goes in with the choir, you know, the choir is just happy, you know, black choir, happy to sing, you know, singing a song, and then he comes in all happy, and then again, the choir gets shot down, and that was a, a statement to the, that a white kid that killed, that, uh, that went in that church and killed the black, uh, I forgot the name of the church, but y'all yeah, know what I'm talking about that Dylan kid or whoever he was, he killed the, um, that choir. And even when he killed the um, church, the remaining people that was in there, or the survivors, they even forgave him for what he did. Because even if you look at the, um, the photos with the choir, because they, um, they had a, a mass funeral for them, they all, you know, was, uh, they had a, one big funeral. You could look on the pastor's face like, uh, he was at peace. You know, the, the, that's, that's some... Yeah, that's just some sad shit, but... Um, 
Yeah, so then, going back to the video, again, the gun is handled with extreme care, but we always talk about oh, gun control and shit, but Australia has had um, school shootings, you know, but he's saying this is America, so we have to focus on America. So then, there's a, there's a, you know, so he goes back to dancing, the kids are dancing, you know, all those good dance moves, but behind them, there's a suicide, there's kids on their phone, and they got the, um, the rags around their mouth like they in a game. Uh, there's a white horseman, cars, uh, they're showing you all the stuff that people, you know, people running from, and then at the end, you know, he holds his hand out like he has a gun, and people run. So basically, I, I kind of interpret that as, uh, you know, as you know, being a black man, people are going to be scared of you, and you don't even have a gun in your hand, and people can lie on you. Cause I didn't got lied on before, you know, and they all running from him, but he doesn't have a gun in his hand. So then the video at the end, he's running away from everybody because um, now that he talks about political stuff, you know, they just wanted him to dance and um, not so much shuck and jive because the child's gonna be on no shuck and jive, but I guess they might interpret that as him. Um, shucking and jiving. Now he talks about political stuff, and everybody's chasing after him as if he can't, you know, express his, his um, opinions. So you know, that's my little takes on it. Uh, it's a lot of hidden, you know, it's a lot of meaning. Uh, you know, it's thought provoking, and that's what we need. Because you know? sometimes, if you don't remember the past, the history can repeat itself. And yeah, that's my take on it. Um, shout out to Kendrick Lamar uh, for winning the Pulitzer Prize for telling Af of the life of African Americans. Um, first rapper to ever do that. I'm glad he got that. Uh, he should also be in the uh, National Congress Library just with like, Tupac's Dear Mama and uh, I believe Boys and the Hood and Minister Society is also in there too. So when he got that award, that automatically took me back to uh, John Singleton getting that uh, in the National Congress of, uh, of the National Library of Congress because um, Boys in the Hood and Minister Society, that t those two movies took you to the hood without you know people actually going to the hood and it took um, uh, because I grew up in the 90s and um, I feel like everybody in that movie either got, a, got an easy paycheck because they played themselves or they played somebody that they knew and that's what we actually needed for um, people to see you know the different sides like Boys in the Hood um, yeah Boys in the Hood where you had you know Ricky who was um, going on a scholarship he was trying to get out the hood you had Doughboy who was his brother you know, all about that gang life. Then you had Cuba Gooding Jr., who was kind of a mixture of both of them. Like he was a good boy, but then he kind of wanted to, you know, go to the um, gangster side, so he was kind of conflicted. He had Lawrence Fishburne, who was his father, who told him, you know, no, don't, don't do that. You know, use your mind. And I feel like that movie's still kind of relevant to, to today, to be honest. You know, maybe fashion changed, but that it's still relevant. And Minister Society, you had Laurent, uh, Lorenz Tate character. You know, he was a gangster. And his grandfather or father told him, you know, one day you're going to uh, wish you never did the things that you did. You, you know, you're going to wish you cherished life. And at the end, where he uh, got killed, uh, he was dying slowly, but um, he started having flashbacks. And he remembered what his grandfather or father said. And it was too late. You know, the... So, shout out to Kendrick Lamar, and shout out to Childish Gambino, you know, this should, this is a very, this is America's, I feel like a very classic, you know, you know, and Kendrick Lamar, you know, is very smart, you know, he ain't about the bling bling and stuff, no, no disrespect to rappers who do that, I mean, it's your money, you do what you want, but, you know, he survived through, you know, Ch J. Cole, Childish Gambino, uh, Chance the Rapper, I feel like that thought provoking, I feel like real rap is gonna come back, 
you know, no disrespect to the Migos and that, but I think they good too, but, um, um, like the little pumps and all of them, um, yeah, we, we, yeah, we, we don't, yeah, these fads, like J. Cole said, you know, you popping now, but in five years you may not be, and you're gonna be on Love and Hip Hop, you know, because most of the people on Love and Hip Hop used to be relevant at some time, and now they have to do this. So, yeah, that's my thoughts. That's my review on This Is America. Any comments, questions, concerns, leave in the comment section below. Till then, this has been your boy, Chris with the X.